Hello, I'm Allison Forehand and this is Tiffany Robbins and we're school social workers with MNPS. The social work department works to help students and families reach their goals through counseling, advocacy, and service coordination. Thank you for joining us as we discuss suicide prevention and awareness. Today we're here to talk to you about warning signs and ways to respond to your child if they are exhibiting these signs. This can be an uncomfortable topic and we hope this video can help you feel confident to discuss this as a family. Suicide is the third leading cause of death in young people. Understanding the warning signs and knowing how to talk to your child about suicide is an important way to take part in suicide prevention. Some of the warning signs are talking about being a burden to others, putting affairs in order, such as giving things away, talking about wanting to die, withdrawing or isolating themselves, talking about feeling trapped or in an unbearable pain, talking about feeling hopeless or having no reason to live. Warning signs may help you determine if a loved one is at risk of suicide, especially if it is a new or changed behavior. So what to do if you notice these signs? Ask. Open and honest communication is so important and can help your child feel valued and heard. Be direct. Ask, are you thinking about suicide? And then give them time to respond. Secondly, keep them safe. Make sure that anything they could use to harm themselves is locked away or in a secure location. These items could be medication, knives, or firearms. To be there for them, take them seriously. Listen to them and say something that shows you are listening. For example, I hear you saying that you are feeling down because blank. You may feel that you won't say the right thing, but as long as you express your love, support, and that you are there to keep them safe, you are doing your part. Ask them if they have a plan, which brings us to the next step. Help them connect. Here are the numbers for the suicide prevention phone line and texting line. I would encourage you to go ahead and pause this video and plug those numbers into your phone so that you have them if you need them. Your child may need support in calling these numbers or texting, so walk through this process with them. If they do say they have a plan and are wanting to act on it, it is time to call Mobile Crisis or 911. Also, schedule an appointment for your child with a mental health professional. You can contact your primary care doctor or your school for referrals to outside agencies. Finally, stay connected. Create a routine mental health check-in with your child. This does not have to be formal. You can use everyday moments such as car rides, meal time, and bedtime to check in with them. Ask them to rate their day on a scale of one to 10 or to give you the high point and low point of the day. Take this opportunity to be vulnerable and share your own responses with them. Also, monitor what they're watching on YouTube, TikTok, and Netflix, to name a few, because these may share misleading and unhealthy messages about suicide that may need to be addressed. Also, these may share other messages about other struggles your child may be facing that you can talk to them about. Ultimately, make safety the number one priority. We hope this session has been helpful to you and your family. If you have any further questions, your school counselor or school social worker would love to speak with you and work together to support your family and your child. If you need assistance, please email us at familysupport at mmps.org. Give us a brief explanation of your need and the best way for us to contact you. We are happy to text, call, or email back. Thank you again for allowing us to support your family and your child.